I mean, has he got any redeeming qualities at all? We haven't seen very many of them yet. We have not. Any. No, we haven't at all. If is any. he just... What, what makes him tick? Is he just misunderstood? <laughs> It's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> I, I mean, he's a complete narcissist. Oh. I mean, he's a, he, he, he's a, you know, he's a psychopath, isn't he? He's yeah. a complete... Yeah, uh, the totally. sense of entitlement is, you know, ingrained yeah. with him. So we haven't seen any redeeming qualities yet. No, we? we haven't. Do you think... I'm just... I'm worried about Eileen. She's one of my favourites, you see. Worried about Eileen. Do you think he's got any well, feelings for her deep down? Do you think he actually that. does love her? Oh, and we'll if he's capable of love? I think the uh, I think the thing with him is in that moment he actually does. Right. But nothing's going to get in the way of the big scheme for him. Right. I don't think. No, I think you're right. She's collateral damage probably. I'm not surprised that you're up for best villain. Are you looking forward to that Thank at the you. weekend? Yeah, uh, enormously. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, Honoured honor to be amongst the, uh, some really nice actors mm. there. And it probably as well to say at this point you've got to credit the storyliners. Yeah. The script writers and the other actors with creating feeling. Mm. He's a really complex, like, it's a good question. But Does he care about Eileen? Does I know. he care about Because it's, it's so, yeah. so fascinating. No. You were kind of a bit going into acting a little bit later in life. You yeah, were yeah. in your 30s, weren't you? That's right. So, what were you doing before and what made the change? All kinds of, uh, all kinds of strange jobs. And what made the change was walking into a theatre in Plymouth, the Barbican Theatre, and uh, I asked him if I could watch the rehearsals. They said, if the actors don't mind. So yeah. in I went. And they were rehearsing a Berkhoff play called East, I think. I had an epiphany. Did you? Really? I had a moment. You just in thought that dark that? space. I thought, you know, like John Lennon when he saw Chuck Berry. That's a good job. <laughs> I'll you know, have some of that. Well, yeah, I, 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 really, uh, I really had a strong response to what was going on. So wow. I got involved. Ah, that's incredible. It's, mm. it's, it's amazing. It must have been something that you wanted to do, though, away, maybe somewhere that even you weren't aware of, that it's something that you were drawn to, I guess, because you're a very, very artistic person. You've got a degree in art, haven't you? Uh -huh. you, you paint, you do all of these things. Yeah. Wait, do you do that like, between scenes, or is it something... <laughs> no, no, no. You know, sometimes there's yeah, yeah. not as much hanging around, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That's a great... Look at that. Brilliant pictures. Absolutely fantastic. Is mm. it a stress buster, or is it hard? Um. It was actually an acting exercise that got me involved with uh, painting. Right. Then the hook went in, and I'm kind of that way. I get I get involved. So, I did my access course, did my BA, uh, and then just graduated in September with my masters. So, the timing to come back to Coronation Street couldn't have been better. It was Absolutely. Like, do you want to come back and do some more? Because he was only supposed to be in it for like a few episodes. Three. It was by public demand. <laughs> it was, though. Uh, well, was bless it? you. Yeah. It, it, re it really was. Yeah. And I think, as an actor, playing oh, someone like that must be... I mean, it just must be such a joy, you know, to play somebody so, so complex. Yeah, he's so, so, he's so fluid, so mm. mobile. Again, it's in the writing, in the storyline, and, of course, the uh, the other guys that you are acting with. Well, Debbie exactly. Debbie Ross, Cleaver. I mean, these are really... They are. What's the reaction to you when you're out and about on the street? I mean, do people kind of boo and hiss at you, or do they actually... They do, actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do, which I suppose means a, a, a job well done. Absolutely, you know. absolutely. So the storm clouds are gathering above Weatherfield, and uh, people take it very... Oh, yes. Uh, very seriously. Well, we, we fans, it's like true life. Mm, you know, we mm. don't like it pointed out to us that it's not real. I think three <laughs> times this morning, people have said, don't you mess with Eileen now. You can do anything else, but... And a couple of people have said, and Roy, leave Roy alone. Oh, That's Roy! Right. Oh, yeah. oh, I know everybody loves Roy. He's fantastic. Yeah. So this is a big, giant week for Corey. Huge. Because, obviously, there's going to be... There's the wedding, yeah. there's the body under... No, mm. Gail is going to... What is Gail going to say? It's just going to be a, a huge hoo-ha. Huge week. Nice rebuilding work, maybe, for feeling, though, when he has to put it all back you, together you, again. You never know. <laughs> I mean, it seems that every drama is an opportunity for him. Exactly, I'm exactly. Sure. Listen, good luck with Soap Awards next week and it's Thank a joy to much. see you and obviously we will be watching tonight. Really lovely Thank to you. see you, Ken Thank Lorraine. You Thank much. you. Thank you.